So hello kid this is your mentor Neetu we are doing chapter 21 pictorial representation of class 5 so see get started you have done in your previous class like this figure you can see a beautiful figure is given over here so by using this figure you can answer some questions over here so now in the previous class you have done such type of question now we, we are doing once again In the previous class, we have learned about pictorial representation. We are familiar with two types of pictorial representation, namely pictograph and bar graph. A pictograph is a pictorial representation of numerical data using pictures, symbols, while a bar graph is a representation of numerical data by horizontal or vertical bars of uniform width and equal spacing between them. See. the first one representation of data in tabular form so we can represent data in tabular form two such tables are called frequency table frequency means how frequently a particular item is repeated in data so number of times an observation repeat itself in the data is called frequency jitni baar ek number ek observation aati hai that is a frequency of that observation so let us understand this with the help of two example example one the shopkeeper sold 14 pens 30 toffees 8 parley biscuits and 17 match boxes in a day represent the data by frequency table so here we represent the data the number of different items by tally marks we use one bar or tally mark for one item remember after four tally marks we represent fifth item by crossing slash the four tally marks agar aapne five likhna hai how you will write five a four lines lenge aur ek slash this becomes five so the table represent different items sold by shopkeeper so first we will make the column one is item then tally marks and then frequency okay so item pens how many pens 14 pens so 5 5 4 5 5 4 usually we say that this is a bunch isko hum bunch bhi bolte hain So five five four and toffees. How many toffees? Thirty toffees. So six times this bunch. So you can draw it like this. And then parley biscuits. How many parley biscuits? Eight. So five and three. And then seventeen match boxes. So seventeen means five 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 and two. So like this. And write here frequency or number. Okay. So this is the frequency table distribution. Now same here example two. The sale of milk. And a milk booth seven days of the week is given as so day is given and milk sold in liter it is given so draw a frequency table for it so days one column and then amount of milk sold in liter so what they have done Monday forty so m m means one m means ten liter and one this means five liter so forty means four m. Tuesday thirty five है तो three m and one five sign and similarly Wednesday we have forty five so four m and one five Thursday we have thirty so three m Friday we have forty so four m and Saturday fifty so five m and Sunday sixty so six m and we are writing here m is representing what it is representing ten liter and one this is representing five liter. Okay, so twenty one point one is based on such type of question. You can enjoy it. Now the next one is pictograph. When we represent the data using pictures, we call it as pictograph. Let us learn to represent data using pictograph. Like example here, the temperature of a city for seven days of the week is given. Temperature is given over here. So let us represent this data using a pictograph. Since the numbers are large, we use. So what we are doing, we are choosing any symbol like sun here that is ten degree Celsius. So days here and temperature of the days in degree Celsius. So Monday it is forty degree Celsius. So four sun. Okay. Tuesday thirty. So three. And Wednesday we have forty five. So forty five के लिए हम क्या ले लेंगे half half of this sun. Okay. So this stands for five. So like this you can draw the picture. So now, like now, a part which day was the hottest? सबसे ज़्यादा hottest थी. You can see picture किसमें सबसे ज़्यादा हैं? Sunday में. So Sunday is the hottest day. B. On which two days the temperature was the same? Temperature was same on which two days? Monday and Friday. You can check the figure. 
एंड द सी विच डेज वॉज द कोल्ड डे सबसे कम टेम्परेचर कब था ऑन फर्स्ट डे दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस राइट सो सेम ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट टू यू कैन ट्राई इट now i am telling you about bar graph it's very interesting another way of representing data is bar graph or column graph these graphs are simple to draw convenient to read and comparison of the given data is easier aram se pad sakte hain aram se compare kar sakte hain they help us to understand the number of quantity being talked about hum kiske bare mein baat karte hain it's very much clear from these graphs so see example here the weight of five children is given as five children given their weight is given a bar graph to represent this data ab kaise represent karenge jo bhi name hai wo aayega aapka horizontal axis jisko hum bolte hain x axis aur ek hum draw karte hain vertical axis jisko hum bolte hain y axis so y axis pe hum numbers dal denge aur horizontal axis pe hum jo data name subjects jo bhi hai we will write it okay ab aapne kya karna hai see फर्स्ट सी द नंबर नंबर आर लाइक ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी टू आप देख सकते हैं फोर फोर से डिविजिबल है तो आप फोर फोर का गैप ले लो सो फोर देन एट देन ट्वेल्व एंड कीप इन माइंड दिस गैप बिटवीन द नंबर शुड बी सेम और जो हम बार ड्रॉ करते हैं दीज आर ऑफ द सेम विथ और जो इनके बीच में डिफरेंस है दैट मस्ट बी सेम सी हेयर इन अ बार ग्राफ डेटा इज रिप्रेजेंटेड यूजिंग रेक्टेंगल्स ऑफ इक्वल विथ एंड एट इक्वल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दम एंड द बी द हाइट और लेंथ ऑफ ईच बार डिपेंड्स ऑन इट्स न्यूमेरिकल डेटा हर एक बार की जो हाइट है किस पे डिपेंड करेगी नंबर्स पे एंड द थर्ड पॉइंट द बार ग्राफ यूज अ स्केल विच इज सिंपली अ रिलेशन बिटवीन यूनिट लेंथ एंड नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इट रिप्रेजेंट स्केल ऑफ द अब ग्राफ लाइक हेयर वन सेंटीमीटर इक्वल्स टू फोर के जी यहाँ पे हमने फोर फोर का डिफरेंस लिया है सो वन सेंटीमीटर इक्वल्स टू फोर के जी सो हाउ दे हैव ड्रॉन इट सो हाउ दे हैव ड्रॉन इट द फर्स्ट वन इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स तो आपने क्या करना है ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज लाइंग बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी एट तो कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स वी विल टेक अ बार फिर नेक्स्ट है ट्वेंटी एट तो आप सेम गैप जितना गैप आपने यहाँ पे छोड़ा है उतना ही गैप आप यहाँ पे छोड़ के You will draw the second bar. It is 28. Then you will draw according to 28. The next is 32. Then you will draw a bar according to 32. The next is 34. 34 is between 32 and 36. उसके so, corresponding आप draw कर देंगे. And then the last is 28. And write here full information: Nupur, Virat, Nitin, Arnav, Shalu, name of the children, and here weight in kg. This is the bar graph. Okay. So same you can try 21.3 exercise on your own and some mcqs over here you can try it and have a good day thanks for watching this video stay connected with us till the next video goodbye